Hi, welcome back to Let's Play Curse of the Azure Bonds. This is DOSBox Mom again. We're just outside the room where Mojian, the head of the Moander cultist, is holed up. We've cast a bunch of preparatory spells, you know, the usual bless, prayer, haste, anything else we had, and let's step on through into the room. You see a priestess turn and smile wickedly. She stands before an altar. You are surrounded by cultists chanting in a low drone. Alias mutters, That's the priestess of Moander! She turns her head and <laughs> spits on the ground. Mojian says, I'm so glad you arrived. It is so hard to do anything constructive without the proper tools. Don't you agree? What do you do? Oh, attack. Before you can act, a blue flash comes from the sigils on your arms and surrounds you. You find that you cannot move. Tendrils come up from the floor and wrap themselves around Alias and Dragonbait. Mojian turns to the altar. The volume of chanting rises to a crescendo. The blue light that surrounds you starts to stream towards Mojian. Energy drawn from your bonds form a dimensional window above the altar. Mojian shrieks, Moanda returns! You see a disgusting mass of slime, mold, and refuse start to ooze from the dimensional rift. As the energy in the dimensional rift increases, you feel the sigil of Moander begin to burn. As the opening widens, you notice the bond of Moander begins to fade. The sigil disappears. The paralysis that gripped you is now gone. Alias and Dragonbait have hacked their way free. She hisses, Attack them now, unless you wish to fight a god. What do you do? Attack. And the clue book does have some suggestions about what to do here. Oh, let's see. Okay, we've got a bunch of cultists and several shambling mounds here. And they suggest taking out the cultists first. Hopefully this isn't going to be a big mistake. Say for the for purposes of getting rid of the cultists, the fireball works just fine. Okay. Try to get as many of those cultists as we can. Yeah, you see that one there? That's Mojian. Okay, that looks pretty good. So remember, the cultists are all spellcasters, so it's important to at least damage them each round so they can't use their spells. Okay. Yeah, I thought Mojin would probably have more magic resistance than the other ones. And let's see if we can finish him off.
Uh oh. Shambling Mountains trying to engulf our ranger. Okay. Yeah, definitely time to use that wand of defoliation. Oh, looks like it has an area of effect like a lightning bolt. Let's see if she has line of sight. Yeah, so it might be worthwhile at least attempting to hold person against Mojin. At least we damage her with the ice storm. Let's try a silence 15 foot radius on her. Well, that worked. Now she won't be able to cast any more spells. Oh, it could be a problem if she comes right next to one of our spellcasters. Oh, and by the way, there's going to be a second round right after we finish this part, so we will want to cast any healing spells we've got. Okay. And continue the battle if necessary. Good. Got her taken care of. That wand of defoliation certainly does a lot of damage to those shambling mounds. Just the one shambling mound left. Okay. We'll want to move anyone who's been injured adjacent to our cleric. We're going to continue the battle.
Okay, and she is, and our paladins are not able to heal within a battle. And we basically just keep healing until we use up our healing spells. I don't think anyone has healing potions. You know, this is going to be a little bit tedious. I'm going to pause this and I'll get you back to you when we get done with this part of the battle. And we're back. We got just over 3,000 experience points e each with this. And let's see if Dragon Fate can heal. Yes, he can. Okay, and let's Yeah. This is probably the stuff that Mojin had down at the end of the list here. Okay, so Uh, of course. Right. See if there's any of this junk we can get rid of. Probably some of these broadswords. Okay. You know, I think we're going to have to do the bits of moander in the next episode so we will see you in just a minute see you